are either stone or, or glass. I don't know which one. I have no idea what the price is. And I absolutely love it. So, um, I guess I'm going to sell it for 20 if you want it. And you'll get both charms. You can wear them together, separate, or whatever. And the necklace. Very pretty. The next thing I have are these beautiful ornate beads. Silver tone. They're gorgeous for um, jewelry baking. I'm going to do all three of them for $10. Or you can get them for $4 a piece. If you only want one strand, it's $4. If you want all three, it's 10 Now, if somebody comes in and wants to buy one and another person wants all three of them, the person that wants all three of them is going to get it first. Just so you know. Because I do want to move the jewelry. And so it's either three for ten or one for four. Beautiful beads. What's next? What's next? Next are some beautiful clay beads. Listen to them. I don't know if they're clay or something else. This almost sound like they're on glass. See this black here? So they're covered. Let me see. If I can get this to test. Yeah, that's testing glass. So these are glass, they're not clay. And they're covered. Made, made to look like clay beads. They're very beautiful beads. This necklace is... ...21 inches. So it would kind of probably be tough getting over the head. And, uh... This feels to be leather-like. But these beads are beautiful. And they would make a beautiful necklace. I mean, you can get this over your head. At least I can. But these are very cool beads. And they graduate in size. Beautiful colors. We're going to do this necklace for $12. These beads are beautiful. $12. Very unusual. Not seen anything like this before. Next necklace we have is uh, on a cord, this little pendant. These are acrylic and metal. And here's your lobster claw class. It's double lobster claw. We're going to do this for um, $2. Let me put it on sky here so you can see what it looks like. Big sky. I tell you what, we're going to do this one. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm going to do it for a dollar. And the length on this is 26 inches. Oh, I had to go get me some coffee. And. We're going to start again 
Next thing I have is this little, it's cute. It's a little bow. Chiffon bow. Pretty uh, little gold tone, I mean silver tone chain. It's not little, I know. There's your extender. Goes from there to there. Looks like it's never been worn. I don't know, it might have been. We're going to put that in the hobby lot. Let me show it to you real quick. It's very cute. Four dollar hobby lot. Yeah, the bow does look like it's got a little stain here on the bottom. Well, you can't even see it. It's very hard to see, so but you might want to rinse it out. If you leave it like that. Okay. Now, the next thing we have is a cord necklace. And it's still tangled up. Hubby had to, uh, I hope y'all can't hear it in the background, but he's snoring away. He got tired. I told him to go lay down. He's a he's a napper. I don't take naps. I took naps. I'd never go to sleep at night. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Reminds me of my pugs. Oh, that's got an R on it. I don't know who R is, but this is what we have. It's got little beads around it. And then you have this little piece here, and the bell is hammered. And then this is a plum color shell background complements the black and the tan colored cords. Let's see how long this is. It is 18 inches. Here's the back of the shell pen. It's very pretty. We're going to do this for three dollars. Let's see what it looks like on Little Sky. I gotta take that chain off. That's gonna detract from it. Yes, let me put it on Big Sky. Because I have something on Little Sky. There it is on Big Sky. And I said two dollars, I think, on that. Okay, the next thing we have are I twisted that up. These long beads, and they are cold. They're some kind of either stone or coral. I think the red is dyed. The others are in their natural state. And what you do is you can twist these. As I get them twisted good. And then you use this to connect them. Like that. Close it up. And you have a necklace. A twisted necklace. Or you can just connect them together and they, they not be twi twisted. But that's what these are for. And you can find all colors uh, colors of these beads here. We're going to do this one for $6. You get the ring included. I keep pushing them over there for Daryl and he's not here. <laughs> oh, so be patient with me. I have to do everything that he does. 
while we're doing the videos. But he needed that break. Six dollars. I was so proud of us that we fixed that vacuum cleaner today. That was a Dyson, and they're not cheap. And uh, if, you, if you're running your vacuum and you're running over something more than once to get it to pick up, it's not working right. So I used to, um, when I worked full time, I used, used to at night go and sell um, rainbow cleaning systems. So I learned a lot about uh, vacuum cleaners and cleaning systems through them. It was a very um, enlightening experience. I made very good money with it. But it was hard work. I got to the point where I just couldn't do it, lifting all the equipment out of the car and doing the demonstrations and all that. But yeah, I'd work all day and then come home and do that too. And if I wasn't doing that, then I'd be going to school after work. And my kids learned how to cook. And hubby cooked a lot for me when I did those extra things. And uh, so here we go. This is beautiful. Beautiful beaded work here. It's got an extender on it with a little finished off very nicely with this little crystal even capped off. And then here's your little hook. And that could be silver. I'm going to test it. First with the magnet. Oh, yeah. Now let's do this. Oh, yeah, that's silver. I don't even have to test it. I will for your benefit, but... Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yay. Here it is before I put the... You can see how bright it is. See, that's a bright silver. Not a dull. Sometimes with pewter, it will rub like silver, but it's a little bit duller than silver when it rubs. And then, of course, when you put in the acid, it disappears. See the pretty red? That tells me that's silver. I know a lot of people use the 18 karat, but I don't seem to have any trouble using the actual silver acid in reading it. Okay. All right. That is just beautiful, and somebody worked very hard on that. I'm going to do that for 15. I'll give you a, a length on it. It is fully extended. It's 18 inches. And then put on the first extender thing, it is 16 and a half. Fifteen dollars. Very beautiful. Everybody take a sip of your coffee or go get you some coffee or whatever you like to drink. Leave in the comments what's your favorite thing to uh, drink while you're watching TV or YouTube or whatever. When you just want to quench your thirst. Not that coffee is a good thirst quencher. I do like tea too, but I just haven't made it lately and I don't know why. Next, we have this religious metal that's very pretty. It's very ornate. Here is the chain. It's 
not quite a silver silver but not a gold either it's kind of in between very light goldish color compared to the silver here I don't see any marks it is magnetic that is not magnetic but like I said I didn't see any marks on it either it may be pewter and no it's got a copper base I don't know if you can tell it's got a little red tint to it we'll do that for a dollar and we're gonna put it in the Hobby Lot one we have is a really pretty glass necklace in green with the gunmetal colored seed beads and little facet beads here that look like garnet in color you've got a lobster claw class and an extender let's see without the extender this is without the extender, it is 16 inches. And the extender is, oh wait a minute, it's 17 inches without the extender. And the extender is two inches. So it can go up to 19 inches. Very pretty. These little, if these little beads do anything. Boy, if you could just see me over here. I'm so crunched up with stuff. No, it's just glass. Not garnet. We'll do this for three. This is gorgeous and heavy and full of glass and stone. Red, gold tone glass. Let me I extend it all the way just so this won't get all twisted up. It's got a little bead on the extender. See right there. A little finish on the extender. Let's see if I can put this on big sky. Oh, this is luscious. That's all I can say. Red and luscious. Here we go. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? The reds and the pinks. Like I said, it's a very heavy necklace. And 
people can just lay out jewelry so nice. Me, I struggle. I definitely need my skies, my big sky, my little sky to help me out. So this is very beautiful. You've got this strand here. Absolutely gorgeous. The red pearls. These are glass. These are stone. The next strand is this with the shell. And these feel cold too. But let me test them for sure. Oh yeah, those are glass, no question. So these are glass and pearl disc, and then the red pearls up at the top again. And then you have this strand. Again, red glass and the pearl alternating. That's up at the top. These are all glass. Oh gosh, look at that. These would be pretty by themselves. If you didn't want a necklace like with all that together, you could take these apart and make new necklaces. And then this one. Very beautiful. More glass in the pearl station. And then the alternating stone, but look how these are fluted here. and capped beautiful gorgeous so we're going to do this gorgeous necklace for $20 You've got a lot of glass and this beautiful red. That is gorgeous. $20.